rare custom cupid wings and all of a sudden for no reason it turned magenta yeah it's the shop king yeah it's shop king time hey what's going on everybody shop king in the house today we're gonna be talking about magenta items every day i get asked where do you get magenta items how did you get those magenta I where can I find a magenta I how did you get cat ears that are solid and magenta how did you get these things that are blah 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 and I'm sure there's probably been 78,000 videos made about magenta items but since I get asked every single day I decided you know what I'm gonna go ahead and make a video about magenta items so I'm gonna talk about where you get them I'm going to talk about where I got mine, and then, then that's going to be the end of the video. Alrighty? And if you're new, make sure that you subscribe to this channel. We got Animal Jam videos talking about everything. Everything in Animal Jam. And we do skits, and we do songs. Oh, if you haven't seen my new skits, make sure you go check those out, because they're super funny. And thumbs up. Yeah. All right, so magenta items, right? How do you get them, yeah? Well, here's the deal. So, Animal Jam is a Flash game. Flash is the name of the program that is running this game right now on your computer screen. And every item, its default color is magenta. And they have to type in a code to change the color of that item. For example, if they were going, like if AJHQ was going to send someone a headdress in their jamograms, basically this is what it would look like, okay? Like I lost a headdress and they're sending me another one or whatever. This is what the headdress looks like in its base form. And they have to type in numbers and or letters to put in the color code to get the proper color. Like light pink will have a certain set of numbers and blue would have a totally different set of numbers and black and magenta. All of these different ones would have totally different letters or numbers that are associated with it, okay? Like if they wanna send somebody the uh, green headdress, they can't just type in green. It's a whole bunch of different letters and numbers. But sometimes they forget to put the code in and they send it like that. There's no code. So it ends up being solid magenta. The way that a lot of these items ended up in Animal Jam was somebody would get hacked or somebody would get scammed and they would contact Animal Jam headquarters and they would say, I lost my cat ears. Let's say, um, these. I had black and pink cat ears on my account and then I logged in and they were gone. And somebody hacked me and took my items. And also, I had some pink socks and I got hacked. Those, those are gone also, Animal Jam. My cat ears and my socks. And so Animal Jam, they looked into it and checked if it really happened. Did this person really lose the, uh, these items where they hacked or scammed or whatever? And they uh, checked the logs to see if it happened and it did happen. And they're like, okay, we're gonna send you some new cat ears and some new socks. So they open up whatever their program is that they use to send items to people and then they type your name in and then they get ready to send you cat ears and i don't know what their program looks like when they're sending items out that would be interesting to see but they select cat ears right and then they do all that and they click send and if they forgot to put that special code in those cat ears will show up solid magenta. That's actually how I got these. Now, I didn't get sent them from Animal Jam headquarters, but there was a person, and this happened to them. They lost their cat ears, they lost their socks, okay? 
and Animal Jam sent them two cat ears and they sent them three socks and all five of them were glitched. All five of them were magenta. Like that person instantly, boom, just like that, became the rarest player in Animal Jam overnight. They got three socks and two cat ears. And this was back when nobody had cat ears and nobody had socks. Oh, that was crazy. I remember when that happened. And I was lucky because I heard about it. I think, yeah, they contacted, they contacted me. I'm pretty sure I made a video about it even. And I was actually able to trade for the cat ears and the socks. So that's actually how I got those. Um, the magenta sheep cloak, it was from Message in a Bottle, which they did last year. This room is full. Message in a Bottle was a pretty cool thing. Every day you would log on and there would be a bottle floating in the water and you would click on it and it would have a brand new item in it. And one of those items was the sheep cloak. But for some reason, a few of the sheep cloaks got glitched and turned into magenta. And I was able to trade for one of those also, which is how I got the magenta sheep cloak. Now we're gonna talk about the rare magenta spiked items. There are actually four rare magenta spiked items. There's the short collar, there's the short wrist, there's the long collar, and there's the long wrist. And the way that these popped up in the game was people already had them. Like someone had a long spike, okay? And then they wake up and they get on Animal Jam and all of a sudden for no reason, it turned magenta out of the blue. <laughs> Could you imagine this? Out of the blue, you get on Animal Jam and your long spike collar has turned solid magenta. It was a weird glitch, Animal Jam, they explained it, but like didn't really explain it. They just said it, it was a glitch and it just sort of happened to a couple of people and they didn't really explain why or how, but those people got to keep their spikes and that's how those came into the game. Pretty crazy, huh? And um, so yeah, I traded for one of those a really long time ago. So um, for me, I traded for all of my items, but the way they get in the game is by glitches or by Animal Jam making a mistake sending you an item when you get hacked or scammed. But don't think that you can trick Animal Jam and send them a uh, support ticket and say, oh, I got hacked out of my spike or I got hacked out of uh, my uh, deer fur. Because Animal Jam has a thing called logs, which show all of the activity, all of the history. Like they could go in and see everything that has happened on your account. Every word that you have said, every gemogram you have sent, every trade you have done, everything. So if you try to scam them and say, oh, I got hacked or I guess I lost this, they will be able to check. But um, the odds of like you losing an item and them making a mistake and sending you a magenta item are extremely very very small it's only happened a couple of times there are a lot of one-of-a-kind magenta items that uh, that are out there and you can take a look at some of these some of them right here and it's possible that some of these uh, came into the game from Animal Jam headquarters sending out uh, replacement items. And it's also possible that some of these items came into the game from hacking. People used to be able to hack into Animal Jam and sort of make their own items and make them any color they wanted. Some of these may have came to the game that way. I'm not exactly sure about each and every item but Animal Jam has patched that. There's no more hacking 
there's no more duplicating so that's that's that the only the only people who can du duplicate items in this game is Animal Jam headquarters yep I said it I remember when they were doing jam con they were doing live streams and they had like 50 black and white candy cane socks on their trade list they duplicated items <laughs> They did. I mean, literally they did, but I mean, it's their game, so I guess they can do what they want. But that's kind of not cool when somebody traded, like, a whole bunch of items for this. And then Animal Jam just goes and make a whole bunch and just gives them all out, you know? Whatever. I don't care. I care. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. I really don't care. It doesn't matter to me at all. It's a big deal. I'm so mad. I'm, I'm not. It's, what do I care? You care so much. Shut up. I don't care. You're making this so awkward. You are stupid. Okay, that this has gone on long enough, guys. So, to sum up this video, there are, are three ways to get magenta items in Animal Jam. The number one way is... Um, from Animal Jam headquarters, from them sending you a lost item, and there's a glitch, and it ends up uh, being magenta. The number two way, which is how I got all of mine, is by trading for them. But of course, magenta items are very rare. There aren't very many of them, so they are very expensive. So you have to do a lot of work in the forgotten desert saving up items you have to do a whole bunch of trades it takes a long time to be able to save up to get magenta items and really the only way i was able to get mine is because i got super lucky i was one of the first people to get an alpha sword actually i was the second person to get the alpha sword but i was the first person to ever trade my alpha sword and i traded it for like a billion things and all of those things that I got from the trade, I traded for all of the items that are, I am wearing now. Which, this is basically my whole account. I sort of stopped caring about items. Like, I don't need anything else. I mean, I do want the long collar. I, I am actively trying to get that. But the two people that have one don't want to trade theirs. So it's kind of it, it's it's kind of bugging me. I'm gonna be making a video about the rarest magenta items, the one of a kind items, like the raccoon tail is one of them, and about the people who have them. Oh, it's crazy! Like, ugh, there's some people with five one of a kind magenta items. Five, like one person has five one of a kind. To put that into perspective. I only have one one of a kind. Could you imagine a person with five magenta items and nobody else has them? Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. All right. So, uh, <laughs> magenta items, you can get sent one from Animal Jam headquarters. You can trade for one. Um, they could be hacked in. That was number three. But since that can't happen anymore, um, we'll replace three with the random glitch because that's what happened with the spikes all right so that's the list now you know now you've been schooled don't forget to subscribe so can click that thumbs up button post a comment if you could make anything magenta what would it be I passed um, cupid wings Man, Cupid Wings, that would be a very expensive. That would be worth so much. Wow, that might be the most valuable magenta. If they made that magenta. Oh, they should make rare custom Cupid Wings and make them magenta. Why not? Yes, I should do that. Edit. That'd be cool. All right, I'm done. Bye. Love you.